What is up guys, Vector Designs here with another GIMP tutorial. So uh, today's tutorial is going to be how to create a simple text logo. And uh, let's get started straight away. So first I'm going to pick a font. The font is key. So uh, I'm using the font Fortnite. And I think it looks really good. So I'll just say vector let's make that bigger and guys remember the bigger the canvas is the higher quality the image is going to be alright so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to separate each letter so just go into your tool right here cut and paste it and do that for each layer Oops. remember to go back to the original text every time you copy it And just yeah do that for each letter and what this is does is it makes it so that we can edit each letter individually I'm just about done do the O and do the last layer now that you're done with this you can just get rid of the first layer doesn't really mean anything delete it or uh, hide it whatever and you might want to rename each one so that just so that it's easier so v e c t o and r Alright, so now that we have that done, just experiment, you know, like do what do what do what you think looks good. So from what I see the V, I don't really like how it goes all the way down. So I'll change that. Let me go to the V and I'm going to bring this up. Maybe I'll bring down a guide. All you need to do is drag from the uh, rulers and that helps me get it ex exactly straight on so now that we have that I'm going to delete this top part and see how that looks I don't like that so I'm going to leave it how it was. Next I'm going to do the E. I'm going to bring that closer so that there's a small gap and I'm going to make this E a little bit smaller. So let me just cut this out. Again make sure you're on the E layer and I'm going to make the middle one a little bit smaller than the rest see oops remember go on this the right layer I'm gonna bring that closer and I think I'm going to make this diagonal again it's all I'm just experimenting try out new things Make sure it's lined up. And uh, yeah. So I'll do the same thing on this side. Uh, 
That looks pretty good. Okay. I'm going to go to the T now. And I'm move that over. And when I'm moving this, I am using the arrow keys to move it over. I like how this looks. I'm going to merge them together. Actually, maybe this will work. Again, I'm just experimenting. If I were to go corner. I really like how that looks. Keep it clean, keep it clean, and uh, make sure that it flows. Um, I think that's good how it is. Maybe make this I'm going to make this in more so that it's more of a square. That's good. Just merge them now. And now the R. Now, what I'm going to do for the R is I'm going to delete this back part. Now when I bring it in, it will look like that. That looks pretty nice. Uh, I'll stop the recording here and do any finishing touches, and then I'll get back to you. Alright guys, I'm back. And uh, all I did was I made the V much smaller so that it's all on one line. So now that I have vector, um, that I think that looks pretty good. So that concludes this tutorial. Um, just remember to experiment, have creativity, and uh, I'll get back to you next week. This is probably going to be a, um, part one of two. This is going to be the text part and next week if you want I will do the abstract part which is going to be shapes and um, yeah. So I'll see you guys next week. Remember to leave your suggestion, su suggestion down in the comments below and bye.